Hey, what's going on, everyone? It is B. Avery here again for another trailer reaction. This one I'm very, very excited for. This is Hidden Colors 5. It is the first look trailer by uh, Tariq Nishi, who is an author, director, producer, um, makes all types of products, um, you know, uh, what else does he do? He does a number of things, but I'm a big fan of his. Um, I have all of his films right here, Hidden Colors 1, 2, 3, 4, and um, also got The Hidden History of Haiti. And I'm very excited about this trailer. Now, I kind of already spoiled it for myself just a little bit. I know that Dame Dash and Michael J. White are in it. I didn't. I haven't seen anything, uh, but I was looking at the comment section uh, well before I had a chance to actually look at it, which is now. So I was like, oh, crap, I shouldn't have spoiled that for myself. But anyway, let me go ahead and put on these headphones and you guys can stop listening to me talk and watch me watch this trailer. Here we go. When you want to conquer a people, you give them a myth, you get them to believe the myth, and then you have, through repetition, have them form that habit of believing the myth. We've been trained to think about Europeans as our God. So we're at war with who? We're at war with God? Because we still, many of us, believe in the white image of Jesus, and that's his son. We know that his father must also be white, so are you trying to tell me we're at war? With that, the thing about being conscious and truthful is you got to be tough. You got to be ready to get violent because people are always going to try to take advantage of you because if you're winning, they're losing. And those guys cheat and you don't. So you got to be, they got to know not to play with you. They got to know you got, you can't really think that you're just going to have an opinion without some muscle. We've also had the mindset of resistance. Even in Los Angeles here, a lot of gangs got started because they were combating the white supremacist groups that were targeting black people in certain neighborhoods. So street gangs were created to really battle them at first. In the 60s, they banned martial artists. They had registration of people's hands and feet because it was something they didn't quite understand. And plus, when people came from the armed forces and started using karate, it was dangerous at that time in neighborhoods that are of a more upscale, financially affluent society, white, Jewish, etc., they are infused with fertility clinics. While in our societies, the ones that do not have that elevated level of economics, black and brown, impoverished communities have abortion clinics. The first revolution Gil Scott Heron tells us is the revolution in the mind. I'm liking that beat, the art of black warfare. That's what's up. <laughs> yeah. Coming soon. Please hurry up and get here. Oh, snap. I'm sorry. Uh, they keep getting better and better uh, with each film. I first got into the Hidden Color series maybe a little over two years ago. And um, I was like, you know, wow, this is, you know, um, you know, a good, decent amount of content just kind of packed into one. Uh, it can really motivate someone to try to just, you know, learn more about the black community and black society and, you know, how we should engage the space and move around in the Americas and, uh, you know, good senses of history and just understanding racism and the rules of racism, you know, which is the name of all of these DVDs, uh, all of his past films. Um, I recommend them. If you haven't seen them, please uh, go check them out. Uh, they are worth it. You know, we have to uh, uh, support our own and fund our own media. And um, this is one of the brothers out there, Mr. Tariq Nasheed, that is doing that, you know, trying to fight the system of white supremacy and replace it with justice. So this is on his uh, Tariq Radio uh, YouTube channel. He has about 55,000 uh, subscribers. Um, he has an Indiegogo on here. I'm going to give at least a dollar. Um, you know, I'm going to go see it when it hits theaters and I'm also going to buy it. So that's at least 50 bucks right there. Plus a little bit that I'm going to give, but, um, that was dope. I like that. I like that. Uh, you know, with each, uh, hidden color series, you know, you, you get some of the same people. Like you got Dr. Kaba, Dr. Kaba common. He was the first guy uh, that they showed. Uh, you can look him up on YouTube. He has a lot of knowledge, a very educated man. 
Um, but you know, he's never had Damon Dash or Michael Jai White in any of his documentaries before. And seeing them in here now is just kind of makes me more excited. Uh, I am a martial arts fan myself, so just seeing Michael Jai White talk about, you know, he called it karate and things like that. And back in the 60s, how they would register your hands and feet, you know, because they just had a misunderstanding of, you know, how the body worked and how, you know, you know, every part of it can be just used as a weapon and you can, you know, crack somebody's face or do a number of things. And so, um, you know, I mean, that's still true today. So uh, seeing him in this documentary does get me excited, um, you know, because it's dealing with warfare and self-defense and things like that. And Michael Jawai, I'm a big fan of his. I've seen pretty much all of his movies. I really like that blood and bone. Um, a film that you can check it out on Netflix. That was pretty good. I saw that about uh, seven, eight years ago. Uh, I believe it's still on Netflix right now, but that, that's pretty good. But um, yeah, I can't wait for this. Let me see if um, I'm trying to see if they have an, a, um, well, it, I guess it would have been in the, um, in the credits. I was going to see like a release date, but it said coming soon. And so, you know, I'm, I don't know. I'm, I'm really looking forward to this. I'm going to watch this thing a couple of more times and, uh, you know, subscribe to Tariq Nasheed's channel. You know, uh, he's had like nearly 100,000 or more subscribers before. But, you know, the trolls and the white supremacists always are, you know, um, doing what they need to do. And uh, they got one of his channels shut down. But, um, you know, anyway. Uh, it was pretty cool trailer. I liked it. I uh, can't wait for the full thing to come out. I know he's still in production right now. And uh, by the looks of it already, you know, he has a lot done. So I can't wait to see more. But guys, that is just my opinion for Hidden Colors 5, the first look trailer. What did you think? Did you like it? Did you hate it? Did I turn you on? Did I turn you off? Do you agree with me or do you disagree with me? Let me know down in the comment section below. Let's get this conversation going and keep it flowing. If you like this video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. And if you don't, that's fine but you can still subscribe to my channel and also look me up on social media facebook instagram and twitter all that good stuff is right there at the bottom of your screen and i made it very easy by providing a link to all that good stuff down in the description box below but guys i just want to thank you again for tuning in to my opinion slash review slash reaction for the hidden colors 5 first look trailer directed produced and written by Tariq Nasheed. and before you go don't forget that my name is brandon kithavery and that's just my opinion peace